chilling new video has surfaced of the deadly airport attack in Fort Lauderdale. In a moment, we will show you the portion of the video where the gunman opens fire. We're also learning more about the gun used in the attack and more about the five people who were killed. We begin with David Begno. Two young boys walking with a man appear first in the video. Then comes 26-year-old Esteban Santiago. That's him in blue. He reaches into his waistband, pulls out the gun, and starts shooting. A man in gray appears to have been the first one shot. People behind him drop to the floor. One woman hides behind a luggage cart. There is no audio on the 22nd recording posted by TMZ. It appears to be authentic surveillance video, but it's unclear how TMZ got the video. A law enforcement source tells CBS News the 9mm handgun Santiago used to kill five people and wound six others was the same handgun he had when he went to an FBI office in Anchorage, Alaska last November. The Iraq War veteran complained to federal agents there that his mind was being controlled by U.S. intelligence and that he was being forced to watch ISIS terror videos. Police confiscated Santiago's gun and had him committed for a mental evaluation for four days. About a month later, police returned turn the gun to Santiago. U.S. District Attorney Karen Loeffler. There is a federal law with regard to having a gun by somebody who is mentally ill, but the law requires that the person be, quote, adjudicated mentally ill, um, which is a difficult standard. In Puerto Rico, Santiago's mother, Elizabeth Ruiz, says her son sounded strange during their last phone call, which was less than two weeks ago. I'm feeling like, don't know, scream, cry, she said because since he was so far away, I could not do anything. Santiago allegedly confessed to planning the airport attack and apparently chose Fort Lauderdale at random. A portion of the baggage claim area where the shooting happened has been reopened, but curtains now shield people from seeing the crime scene, a mass shooting at a major U.S. airport. Federal prosecutors say the gunman aimed at the head of each of his victims, and he stopped shooting only when he ran out of bullets and then dropped the gun on the ground. Elaine Hill face a judge tomorrow morning. He could get the death penalty. David Begno, thank you.